I'm gonna go up and get ready, okay? Okay. Wait at the bar for like five minutes and then follow me up, okay? Okay. Okay. Do me a favor and uh, just have a seat right over there on the other side of the bar. Okay. How's it going? Fine. Right. You find a place to park okay? Mm -hmm. What's your plan for tonight? Nothing really. Nothing really. Mm -mm. Who'd you come here to meet? Some girl. Some girl whose name is what? What's her name? You can't even remember her name. It's Amanda, I believe. Amanda? Sadie, maybe? I was Amanda. Yeah. And how old is this girl you came here to meet? I believe she's 18. 18? Mm-hmm. And what made you think she was 18? Because I thought she said she was 18. You want to try again? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. But that's not what she told you, is it? I don't know. Well, you can say that. Okay. But I have the transcript of the conversation. Okay. And right up top, she says she's 15. Okay. How old are you? 21. 21. And why did you think it was appropriate or legal to come here to meet a 15-year-old girl home alone? I don't know. You don't know? Uh -oh. you got to have a better answer than that. I didn't think she was 15. But that's not what it says here in the transcript of the chat. I read the whole thing, so you might as well just tell me. I don't know. I really don't know. I thought she was 18. What's that say right there? What does that say? 15. 15, okay. Go ahead, sir. I don't remember. You don't, isn't that a little convenient that all of a sudden you're sitting here talking to me and you don't remember? No, it happened probably last night. A whole 24 hours ago. So? A lifetime. Where did you come from tonight? Lebanon. I'm sorry? Lebanon. Say it again? Lebanon. And where is that? Cincy. In Cincinnati. How far did you drive? I don't know, maybe an hour. An hour. And what's your name? Jeff. Jeff, what's your last name? Stacy. Stacy. And what do you do for a living, Jeff? Work at a deli. You work at a deli. And do you often chat with underage girls online? Oh. No. Mm -mm. So this is your first time? Mm-hmm. You know, I hear that a lot. I would say, yeah, you probably do, but this is. This is what? This is the first time I've ever met anybody offline. Now, it seems like you're having some memory trouble tonight, so I'm going to remind you of some of the things you said in the conversation. You ask her if she's a virgin. I ask everybody all kinds of stuff. It's just talk. Do you sleep naked? What's wrong with what? Asking questions. Well, some of the questions are pretty graphic. You gonna be naked when I show up? Legs spread and I will blank you right away. Okay. So I said that stuff. Then you say, Oh, you're not a cop, are you? Why did you ask if she was a cop? Because I had people who were drunk friends and they say that if you ask that that they have to tell you. You have people who are what? I used to have friends that were druggies, and that's what they said. Druggies. So the druggies told you that if you ask over the Internet if there are police, they have to tell you. Yeah. So that's what you did. Mm hmm And why were you worried that it might have been a police officer? I ask everybody. Just out of habit? Yeah. Well, doesn't that indicate that you're worried that if it was a police officer, you could get in trouble for what you were doing? No, because I asked that to everybody. To everybody. So you spend your time on the internet at night asking people whether or not they're cops, whether or not they sleep naked, whether or not you can perform yeah. sex acts on them. Mm -hmm. You do this all the time. 
It's talking. It's talking. Nice. Yeah, but the difference tonight, Jeff, is that you went from talking to showing up at this house where you thought a, a teenage girl was home alone. An underage girl. I didn't know. You didn't know what? That she was underage. Do you want to go through the exercise again where we talk about what age is right here in the chat? No, because I don't remember. You don't remember? I don't remember seeing the age. Then why were you so worried about whether or not this was a police setup? Because it, I asked that to everyone. You ask her if she's horny. What's wrong with that? If you... You ask if she does anal. It's a question. I know, but you're asking a question to somebody who identifies themselves as an underage girl. And in this state, depending on the circumstances, that is against the law. Do you get that? It's against the law to say it on there? It's against the law to solicit an underage girl for sex. Yes. That's not what I... If that's what it was, I'm sorry. I didn't know. You also sent this picture of yourself. Yes, I know. That's you. And then you sent these pictures, too. Yeah. Who are they? What's all that? Just phony pictures. Just phony pictures. Well, how come you cut the heads off? I didn't. I just found them that way. And, and you were trying to make believe that was you, or what was yeah. the purpose of that? I don't know. It's just talk. If I'm not really ever... I mean, it's nothing. Doesn't seem to fit there. I know it doesn't. So what were you trying to do with all this? Nothing. What were you going to do if you had showed up here and a girl was here and I was not? What would have happened? Probably a whole lot of nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Maybe a kiss or two, but probably wouldn't go farther. Did you, did you bring condoms with you tonight? No. Didn't plan on it. Didn't plan on doing that. Did you bring alcohol in your car? No. You're sure? Yeah. Yeah, check my car. I don't care. There's no alcohol in my car. But after all this sex talk... It's just talk to me. All this graphic chat... Did you expect us to believe that you had no plan? Nope, I didn't. Was I having sex with this girl? No, really, I didn't. Didn't bring alcohol. I didn't bring drugs. I didn't do any of that. Yeah, but what you're saying now conflicts with what you said online. It's online, though. So you just made it all up. All yeah. play, all chat. Mm-hmm. The difference is, Jeff, you showed up. I didn't know it was wrong to show and up. And that shows intent to follow up on what you talked about over the internet. I didn't know that was... I wasn't intending to do it. It's just talk to me. Just talk? Mm-hmm. Do you do this all the time on the internet? Sometimes, yeah. Are you addicted to the internet? No. How often do you talk on it? I don't know. Every day, maybe? Every day. It's just talking. I don't see the internet and real life are two different things. What says on the internet doesn't mean that's what I really think. Well, that would be easier to believe, Jeff, if you didn't show up here tonight, where you thought a young girl was home alone. No, I really didn't. Well, I knew she was alone. How would you be here? I mean, I knew she was alone, but that doesn't mean much to me. You're an adult. She's a child. Okay. There are laws protecting children. Okay. Do you get that? Yes. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you get why... Teen girls at a certain age cannot give consent legally. Yes. Okay. So you understand why there's a problem? Here. Yes. Okay. So what do you think should happen to you? I really don't know. Why don't you help me out here? I mean, I'm sorry if all this happened. I'm sorry all this. It's really a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding. I really did not intend on anything, really. Maybe meet to her, talk to her. But come on. You it's, know what you but said. It's, I don't know what I said on there. But that's what I'm saying. It's just talk to me. Jeff, do you ever watch television? Sometimes. Do you ever watch Dateline NBC? No. 
I'm Chris Hansen, and I'm a reporter for Dateline NBC. Mm -hmm. We're doing a story on adults who try to meet teens on the Internet. Mm -hmm. If there's anything else you'd like to tell us, we'd like to hear it. Nope. If not, you're obviously free to walk out that door. Can you hear me? Yeah. What's your name? Yeah. Jeff? <coughs> Jeff? How old are you, Jeff? Mm-hmm. Say that again? Mm-hmm. Turn him around. You're 29? 25. 25. Okay. Think. You think? How old are you? I think I'm 25. Okay. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medications? Are you uh, have any mental disabilities to prevent you from understanding what's going on here? I have epilepsy. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yes. Okay. I'm going to read you your rights. If you have any questions, you uh, you tell me. Okay. Can I just be shot? You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Yes. Anything you say can be used against you in a court. Do you understand that? Yes. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have a lawyer present with you while you're being questioned if you wish. Do you understand that? Yes. If you can't afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand that? Yes. You can decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present if you want. You will still have the right to stop answering questions anytime. All you have to do is tell us. Do you understand that? Yes. You have any questions about the rights I just read to you? No. Okay. Go. Got anything in your pockets? Some kind of poker stick? Stick me. Pins. We'll talk about it, okay? You know, Luke. Heads up. Slide that chair back against the wall. Okay. Jeff, I'm uh, Deputy Green from the Dark County Sheriff's Department. This is Deputy Tom Nichols. Okay. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Is that all right? Okay. It's okay. State your full name, please. Jeffrey Douglas Stacy. Last name again? Stacy. Stacy. S T A C Y. Yes. What's your social security number, uh, Jeff? Three seven eight eight six thirty two four four. Okay. What's your address, Jeff? Thirteen twenty Stubbs Mill Road. Stubbs Mill? Yes. Lebanon, Ohio. What's your date of birth? 3879. Are you under the influence of any drugs or alcohol tonight? No. No? What's the highest grade of 
school you, that you finished? College. College? How far in college did you go? Two-year technical school. All right, I guess the first question is, why did you come to the, to the house at 67 uh, 5K Avenue tonight? To see a girl. What's your screen name? Single Texas guy. Is that all? I think that is. Is it single Texas guy for fun? Yeah, that might be it. <clears throat> Who are you coming to see today? What was her name? I guess it's Sandy's what I was told. Do you know her text name? Oh. Her uh, name you took chatted with her on the internet with? Oh. Now, how did you first meet this uh, Sandy? In the chat room. When was this? Last night, I think. Last night? Mm-hmm. How long have you known her? Just since last night? How long did you talk to her? I don't know. You don't know? Did you know how old the person was you were coming to visit? I guess not. You didn't? I didn't pay attention. You didn't pay attention? So you have no idea how old she is? I thought she was 18. You thought she was 18? Mm-hmm. The Sadie, the Smarty, ring a bell with you? I guess. Yeah? And you, you chatted with her last night? Yeah. Up until like 12 a.m. in the morning? Something like okay. that. Okay. Do you remember reading this because she typed it to you? No, I don't read those. You don't read those? That's your chat. Yeah, but I don't read. You don't read? No, I don't read that part. It doesn't matter. It's just talking. It's just talking. So when you told her, when she told you she was 15, you just ignored it. It's just talking. It's just talking. Do you understand what kind of trouble you're in here tonight? Yes. What? Tell me what kind of trouble you're in. Probably jail. No, what, what did you do wrong? I showed up to solicit a minor. For what? I guess sex. Sex. What, what was you? What was your plans tonight when you when you arrived with this fifteen year old girl? Just to talk. Well, that's not what the your your log reflects. I know, but it's an internet. I just say whatever comes to mind on the internet. You say whatever comes to mind. Yeah. So, would you like to me off? Just came to your mind? Mm -hmm. You say that to everyone mm -hmm. you chat with? Mm -hmm. Men and women? Mm -hmm. Adults? Mm -hmm. uh, the computer you used uh, for uh, this chat, where is it? The parents' house. Okay. Uh, did you call her on the phone tonight? No. Did she call you? No. How did you know where? how to get there? She gave it to me over the internet. Over the internet? You never called her on the phone? No. Do you have a cell phone? No. Can you get that CTH? Oh, she was dead. So you had no intention of having sex with this I'm girl. Going in now. Is that what you're saying? No. I'm going in now, Kevin. But you just you just said you came to that house to solicit the fifteen year old for sex, did you not? Did That's you just say that? That's what they told me I was doing when I walked I asked in. you what you were doing 
at the house. I was just coming to meet him. What happens, happens. That's the way I look at it. Okay, so there was a possibility that could have happened. Could have? Could have. If the opportunity would have arose, she would have been there, and no one else had been home. That could have happened then. Yeah, someone could have been home too. Okay. Did you send these pictures to her? Yes. Are those pictures of you? No. Did you say, did she believe uh, when you sent them, did you represent them to be you? Yes. And why did you send a picture of someone else like that? Because it's just fun and games. It's fun and games. I guess I did something wrong. What is it you did wrong? I guess I showed up to talk to a minor. Okay. Your uh, your transcript of your uh, chat log indicates uh, you asked a lot of sexual questions and stuff like that. Okay. You agree with that? Yes. Okay. Also in the in the transcript, she shows or tells you she's 15, and then you say, "Do you like older guys?" So you had to read that she was 15 to type to her, "Oh, do you like older guys?" Is that true? Would you say that was true? I guess so. And then uh, you go on to say, "Would you like to get me naked?" Do you remember typing that? Yeah, but that's just normal things. Then she says to you, you mean for real? And you can go, yeah, it could be fun. Remember typing that? Yeah. Then you say to her, would you ride or me? Do you remember typing that? Yeah. You got any questions for, uh, for us, Jeff? What's going to happen to me? You're going to be taken to Dark County Jail. Please, God. You're going to be uh, charged with attempted, uh, attempted unlawful sexual conduct with a minor, okay? It's a felony file. Please don't. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I'm not a child molester. Well, evidently, uh, you were going to molest oh, a child. Yeah. Because the, uh, everything indicates that. You understand? She said she was 15, and you knew she was 15. You went to the house to solicit sex with a 15-year-old, did you I know? did not know. Right here it is. You had to know. Oh, I don't pay attention. That doesn't get it, okay? I really that didn't know that she was 15. That, wasn't, that doesn't float, all right? I'm sorry, I didn't know. You got phone number now, what's your home phone number, Jim? 932-3657. I'm just going to kill myself. We can work this out, all right? No, I really am just going to slip my f***ing throat. You relax, all right? No, I'm just going to kill myself. Put me in jail and I'll hang myself. I don't care. Cuffy mode. Cuffy mode. Oh, yeah, take his picture. No. I need that phone number. Stand against the wall. Six, five, six. After me, there you go. I'm just going to kill myself. Let me take his picture. Jeff, what's your area code? 513. 513. Okay. I'm just going to shoot myself. Kill myself. I don't think he's going to have that one. You ever been arrested before, Jeff? No. For anything? No. Been in any other trouble? No. No? I didn't know. Okay. Now I did something horrible, I'm just going to kill myself. Well, you don't want to do that. Yes, I am. As soon as I'm out of jail, I'm going to kill myself. Split my heart. Put it on TV, I don't care, because I'll die before it hits the air. I don't even care anymore. I did something so wrong that I don't even want to be alive. Do so you have time of arrest anywhere? No. I'm just going to kill myself. Huh? Kill myself. No, you won't. Yes, I am. No, you won't. Yes, I will. You still live with your parents? Doesn't matter. I want to kill myself. 
I'm going to kill myself and watch myself die. Because you know what? It's not worth it. I'm going to kill myself. Death. That's all I have. That's all I need. That's all I want. Let me kill myself. Let me put a bullet right in my head. Thanks. Put a bullet right in my head. Again, why? You got so many keys? What's it matter? I'm going to be dead by tomorrow. I think there is, Johnny. There is? Let's see if it's a sexual in uh, nature. I'm going to put a bullet right in my head. What is it? Hang myself something. I just want to die. Death is all I want. This will just be put in all your personal property at the jail. Okay? We're not going to keep going. I don't even want it. I'm going to be dead. For evidence. I'm going to be dead. I don't even care anymore. Life's not worth it. What I did was horrible. And I just want to die. Just want to die. What is the day of work again? Sure. Three eight seven nine. Make sure you tell the people. We will. We will. Sign it. Right, well, we haven't asked him about it yet. Okay. Uh, Jeff, do you mind, would you uh, allow us to search your vehicle? Give what? us permission just to see what's in it. I guess. You will? Okay, I'm going to sign it. Let me just put a bullet in my head. You right handed or left handed, Jeff? Right. I'm going to take that right hand cup off so you can sign your name on that piece of paper, okay? Can you kill me? No, I can't do that. Right under your car, if you want to tell us what's in there before we search it. There's nothing in there. Nothing in there? Is that your car? Or your mom and dad's car? I think it's mine now. It's yours? Any alcohol? No. Drug? No. Any personal belongings? Lots of that. Lots of that? Lots of your veins over? No. Yeah. Alright then. Hand behind your back. Deserve your hay, right? She's f***ing killing me. So I just want to die. Why'd you change them? Huh? Why'd you change the way they're on? Because you wasn't, uh... You was acting up. I just put them on as quick as I could. Let's go. We got about a five minute ride. Right. Yeah. Oh, sir. Yeah. You call in long gun? Yeah. I'm in jail. I'll die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. It's all I can head.
You want to take two steps back towards me, keeping your head on the mat, okay? Spread your feet apart. Okay, you got anything on this little cut me or stick me? Pins, baby. Pins? Okay, you got any drugs on you or anything? Okay. I'm going to patch you down, all right? I'm going to take these cuffs off of you, okay? And when I do, you need to put your hands up on the wall, right? Okay? Put them right there on the wall. Leave it right there for me, all right? Okay, well, I need you to just take your coat off for me, okay? Now, your shift is this. Yes. Okay, what I need you to do is take your shoes off for me, okay? One at a time. Shoes and socks. We're going to head all the way down to the end of the hall. The last door on your right, okay? Do you get a drink? We'll get you a drink in here, okay? Go ahead and set your shoes and socks down right here against this wall. I need you to take your glasses off for me, okay? Go and put your glasses back on. I need you to turn your whole body and face that door for me. I need you to turn and face the other door for me. There you go. Do you have any tattoos? Any birthmarks? Any surgical scars? Where you got surgical scar at? Your foot. Where else on your belly? Somewhere. Yeah. Alright, Jeffrey, you got a dollar out of your personal property. I'm gonna drop it in a safe for you, okay?
Here's some water, Jeff, okay? Go and drink that. I wish I was dead. Well, let's, we'll deal with this later, all right? No, nope, I'll die. Everybody makes mistakes, Jeff. What's your current street address, Jeffrey? 1327 Hill Road. Hill Road? Mill. Mill? Where's that at? 11 and... I'm going to put a bullet right in my head. What's your zip code? 45036. Just going to put a bullet right in between. What's your phone number? 9323657 You married, single, divorced? Single. Do you have any children? No. You right handed or left handed? Right. You can read and write? Yes. Do you have any tattoos? No. no. Some medical questions. What I need to know is if you've been treated for any of the, any of the following, okay? Do you have any allergies to food or drugs? Coding. Coding. Arthritis. No. Asthma. No. Dental problems. No. Withdrawals. No. Diabetes. No. Epilepsy. Yes. Fainting spells. No. Doctor prescribed diet? No. Urinary tract problems? No. Ulcers? No. Venereal diseases? No. You ever tested positive for AIDS, TB, or hepatitis? No. Heart or high blood pressure problems? No. Are you being treated for mental health problems? Yes. What are you being treated for? Don't know. You don't know? No. Nope. Depression? Might be. Bipolar? They ne never give you an exact answer. They just treat the symptoms. They don't give you a word. Have you ever tried to kill or harm yourself? Yes. When was the last time? Six months ago. How'd you do it? Took seven different bottles of pills and drank about three-fifths of alcohol. Oh, I'm trying to slip my wrist. Are you feeling depressed or suicidal right now? Yes. Are you taking any medication? Yes. What are you taking? Some Volta. Anything else? Allegra D. What are you taking for your seizure? I don't have to take anything. What's this? Other, what was that last one for? Congestion. Okay. Who's your doctor? Dr. Gardner, April Gardner. Any additional information that we should know about why you're here? Epilepsy and cerebral palsy. Never know it anyway. I need a name and a number. What is your mother's name? Joy Stacy. And what's her phone number? 932-3657.
MapQuest directions to the place where you were arrested. Also, we found some MapQuest directions to a place in Lee Street in Albany, Ohio. Uh, also, I found a computer tower in your trunk, and we took that too. These items can be released only on a, on a court order, a court order to get them released or something of that nature. Or once your case is finalized, if the judge has no objections, we can give that stuff back to you. But right now, it has to stay as evidence. Okay, do you understand that so far? Yeah. Okay. You have any questions about your car or about the evidence? No. Okay. I'm going to go and put this in your property so that this will be your receipt for the stuff I took out of your car. All right? Uh, huh? Okay. Okay. Good luck. <clears throat> All right, Jeffrey. What I need you to do, I need you to step over here towards me, okay? Step over here just a little bit. There you go. Just relax your hand. There you go. Just like out. Give me your left hand. Okay, give me your right hand with your four fingers together. There you go. Okay? Give me your left hand. Okay, now what I want you to do is just kind of turn your body and we'll roll your fingers, okay? So just really relax your hand, all right? Body again. Hand your hand just like that. Okay? Thumb in. There you go. Just like that. Just relax your hand. Just let it relax. Okay? And just stand with this hand. Just relax your hand. Put your thumb just kind of sit out there. There you go. Just like that. Step right into this room, okay? It won't work. Might as well just sign the paper. This one here is a list of the items that we took from you. I need you to read over it and make sure everything is correct and sign it. 